Welcome to Barron Public Library's Friday Read Aloud. Today, I am reading for you the last story in our space focus. The Beanstack Challenge stays open until December 31st. Get on there and see if you can learn some new things from NASA. Astronaut Training Written by Anita Cruz Illustrated by Olivia Esser Astrid's dream was to be an astronaut. At playtime, she built a spaceship. At dinner time, she made astronaut food. At bath time, she practiced floating in space. At bedtime, she counted stars. But there were too many, and Astrid soon ran out of all the numbers she knew. Why aren't you sleeping, Astrid? her father asked. I'm getting ready for my astronaut mission, she explained. You'll be an astronaut when you're big, but how about a little mission for tonight? Go to sleep. Sleep? Astrid had trained all day. She was ready to soar into space, wasn't she? She pressed her eyelids shut so tight the stars outside her window appeared. She chose the biggest one, made a wish, and... Astrid was an astronaut. Zip! She took off in a spaceship, flying far, far away, until she landed on a planet where everything and everyone was big. The bigs had never seen anyone like Astrid. They were amazed. They wanted to be astronauts too. At playtime, Astrid tried to show them how to build a spaceship, but their tools were too huge. At dinner time, she tried to show them how to make astronaut food, but their meals were too huge. At bath time, she tried to show them how to float in space, but their tub was too huge. At bedtime, Astrid and the Bigs counted stars. But when they ran out of all the numbers they knew, Astrid looked around and said, mm, this isn't right. She glanced up at the stars, chose the smallest one, and set her course. Zap! Astrid took off, flying far, far away, until she landed on a planet where everything and everyone was little. The littles had never seen anyone like Astrid. They were amazed and wanted to be astronauts too. At playtime, Astrid tried to show them how to build a spaceship, but their tools were too tiny. At dinner time, she tried to show them how to make astronaut food, but their meals were too tiny. At bath time, she tried to show them how to float in space, but their tub was too tiny.
At bedtime, Astrid and the Littles counted stars. But when they ran out of all the numbers they knew, Astrid looked around and said, This isn't right. She glanced up at the stars, chose the one she knew best, and fired up her engines. Loop! As Astrid took off, flying far, far away, until she landed on a planet where everything and everyone was the way she'd always known them to be. She ran to hug her father. Daddy, Daddy, Astrid cried. Last night I was an astronaut, but everything I did on my mission went wrong. Can you help me get it right? Her father nodded. At playtime, he helped Astrid build a spaceship. At dinner time, he helped Astrid make astronaut food. At bath time, he helped Astrid float. At bedtime, he and Astrid counted stars. And though her father hadn't run out of all the numbers he knew, Astrid was starting to yawn. Good night, sunshine, her father whispered as he tucked her into bed. Good night, Daddy, Astrid replied. She drifted off, dreaming of all the wonderful worlds she would explore. After a bit more training, of course. I hope you enjoyed this story about a little girl with a big dream. As we come to the end of the year, it's time to set some intentions. I encourage you to think about something that you are passionate about and make a commitment to spending some of your precious moments learning about it, growing, and seeing if you can make your dream come true. Until next time, this is Miss Patricia. Happy New Year and keep reading.